Haley, thank you so much for doing this. How's your day going Aww. so far, aside from having to talk to elite media people? Um, you know what? It's going great because what's exciting for us this week is everybody finally gets to see what we've been working on for so long. We, we, we don't feel like it's our little secret, but it's been our great joy. So the fact that we finally get to share it now and it's out in the world. So this has actually been a really wonderful day to just hear from all of you and just to hear what you're thinking about the show and how it's going to, you know, hopefully impact families and kids and uh, bring some joy and some song. That uh, is actually families. the first thing I wanted to know. How long did you have to keep it a secret that, you know, it's an existing concept, but actually launching and becoming a series and not just a pilot or a special or one off? Oh my gosh. And to, uh, like, and when you, like the minute you saw that it was announced by Apple, that's how long we had to keep it a secret. So, I mean, my family knew because they were with me. Um, but no, we had to keep it, we had to keep it, uh, keep it under wraps. So it's a very exciting week uh, to be able to share it with the world. I think everybody was hoping, and you know, the shorts came out with Apple um, uh, right right during the pandemic, and so I think everybody got a little taste uh, of the Fraggles, but you know, we couldn't share the bigger meal uh, that we've been working on for the last uh, um, year and a half. So anyway, very exciting. A year and a half to work on anything is a lot of time. Like. For me personally, somebody who tapes interviews almost every day of the week, yeah. it's like I do an interview, it's done, it's out next. A year and a half is a big commitment and a lot can happen in a year and a half. Was there a personal highlight from that year and a half of work for you? A year and a half, What? Like, let's talk about this last year and a half, right? Like <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Um, so uh, a highlight from, from the, the highlight of the production was just being there. Uh, just being on the set every day. Every day was different. Um, there was one day in particular, you just made me think of it, where we have all the Fraggles dance. They go kind of like down a dance line. Sure. And I thought that was literally one of the greatest days of my life, was watching each Fraggle just have their puppet dance. And it was just such a joy. It was such a joyful set. It was so much fun to be there. And it was such a hard time these last couple of years. Yeah. So to be part of something that has such meaning, such joy, such fun, was um it was restorative it was healing um so i think i think you'll see that on the screen um that that kind of love uh that was there on set that came through in the show itself yeah few characters if i'm allowed to say characters because they don't know that they're characters per se but uh few things bring more joy than the fraggles what was your first fraggles experience my first fraggle experience my first Fraggle experience was, I mean, what I can remember, because I've been asked this question, is sitting on my shag carpet in my childhood bedroom, watching HBO, um, you know, you had to churn the channel, we didn't have a remote, and, um, and the theme song. Of course, it was the theme song, right? And that was such a brilliant theme song, because Gobo took you down into the world, and, you know, I would just watch it and think, oh, I wish this was a real place, I wish I could go there, <laughs> and then I did. <laughs> And then you did. And do I have a correct, do I remember correctly that the Fraggles were the first show on HBO, the first original content? You know, I don't know if it was the very first show, but it was one of their first originals. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting because I've met a lot of fans of Fraggle Rock that knew it from The Hub or knew it years later when it was on another, you know, another platform. But I feel like I'm the old school original with Fraggle Rock on HBO. Um, so yes, it was definitely considered a premium show. Uh, and I like to think that it still is. I like to think that with our wonderful partners at Apple, we've continued the spirit of premium um, in delivering uh, something hopefully I feel is extraordinary. And the last question before I let you go, are you allowed to say if you have a favorite Fraggle? Yeah. My favorite Fraggle is my, fra okay, so my favorite Fraggle. Um, I would say Uncle Traveling Matt. He makes me laugh really hard. I just think he's so goofy and silly and I just, you know, he, he brings me joy. I mean, I'm a lot like Moki. So if you ask me who I'm like, I'm like Moki. Um, but I think Uncle Traveling Matt makes me laugh a lot. And a new character, Lyle Craggle. Hands down, favorite new character. So you got funny. taste. You got taste. Well, thank you for your time and looking forward to whatever is coming next from you, Fraggles or not. Oh, thank you so much. Outro cast.